Merry Christmas, Northsiders and friends. If you're joining us online this morning, after this morning meditation, we'll encourage you to stream from last night as your worship service. If you're local, there is still time to make it over to the Fellowship Hall for worship and the Moravian Love Feast this morning, where we will have sweet buns, sweet coffee, share stories and sing carols as is our tradition. This service will not be streamed this morning. Hear our scripture from the prophet Isaiah today. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of a messenger who proclaims peace, who brings good news, who proclaims salvation, who says to Zion, your God rules. Listen, your lookouts lift their voice. They sing out together right before their eyes. They see the Lord returning to Zion. Break into song together, you ruins of Jerusalem. The Lord has comforted his people, has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared God's holy arm in view of all of the nations. All the ends of the earth have seen our God's victory. What is translated as sing out and break into song in the common English Bible, which I just read from, is also translated as shout for joy in other translations. For this Christmas morning, I like the idea of singing out together and breaking into song together. Traditionally, for our Moravian love feast, we gather in the round and call out carol numbers and sing out loud. Among the stories, singing, Sweet buns are interspersed. And some of those stories are embellished more than others. And all the while, we are introduced once more to the love made manifest through Jesus Christ, our Lord. There is something about singing that just seems to fit with Christmas. One of my favorite questions to ask folks at a Christmas party, you know, one of those where you may know the host but all of a sudden you're sipping hot cocoa with the cousin of a cousin of a friend, trying to make small talk, those parties. Anyways, one of my favorite questions is, do you have a favorite Christmas song? A favorite sac sacred Christmas song? A favorite secular Christmas song? My favorites seem to change every year. Lately, I have been loving where shepherds lately knelt as a sacred song. And for secular, it seems to teeter between silver bells and the Christmas song, you know, chestnuts roasting on an open fire, depending on how I'm feeling on a given day. There is something about the doldrums of winter that makes singing at Christmas not just fun, but necessary. And there is something about singing together too that lifts our spirits in this season where it can be so easy to feel alone. And it's not that Christmas carols are a prescription to numb the emotions of the holidays. Rather, they are a way for our soul to encounter the living God. Like the lookouts who could not help but sing out in Isaiah 52, so we too cannot help but sing out, craving for God to come near again. Again, this Christmas, our scripture today speaks of a time when the people of God will return home from Babylonian captivity. What is so outstanding about that is that God promises to go first. But later in the chapter, which we didn't read, we'll learn how God's going before and being the rear guard will mean the people don't have to flee in haste, but can return safely. Also of note is that the lookouts will actually see God. This is profound because there are times in scripture where the people refuse to look at God because of God's holiness, and because that holiness would have killed them. Rather than fear and trembling as their response, seeing God, the lookouts sing out for joy. This response of a song is unlike others in scripture. When God does something amazing or draws particularly near, the response is a song. Like the songs of Miriam and Moses after the deliverance from Egypt. And the many psalms attributed to David. 
Mary's song, the Magnificat in Luke 1. Or her cousin Elizabeth's song or her husband Zechariah's song in response to Mary's pregnancy. What about Simeon and Anna's songs after Jesus was dedicated in the temple? Or how about when the disciples and Jesus left the Last Supper and Jesus knew he was about to be handed over? It was songs that came to their lips. When trying to explain the nature of Christ, Paul in Philippians chose a hymn. And when this life is no more, we hope for joining with the eternal chorus singing holy, holy, holy as recorded in Revelation. There were and always have be, been and always will be those moments when the only thing our souls can do in response to God's presence, deliverance, salvation, simple goodness is to sing. I wonder where are the places and what are the moments that you have seen God this season of holy imagination? Where have those moments intersected with the songs of the season? Was it the friend who simply acknowledged this would be a tough Christmas without your loved one? And in despair, I bowed my head. There is no peace on earth, I said, for hate is strong and mocks the song of peace on earth. Goodwill to all. Then peal the bells more loud and deep. God is not dead, nor doth he sleep. The wrong shall fail, the right prevail with peace on earth. Goodwill to all. Was the new baby born into your family or friendship group? Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask you to stay close by me forever and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in your tender care and fit us for heaven to live with you there. Was it the illness that was healed or the surgery that went well? Hail the heaven-born Prince of Peace. Hail the Son of Righteousness. Light and life to all he brings, risen with healing in his wings. Mild he lays his glory by, born that man no more may die. Born to raise the sons of earth. Born to give them second birth. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. Was it the ability to purchase just the right gift for someone who not that long ago was a stranger? What can I give him poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would bring him a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. Yet what can I give him? Give him my heart. Was it the quiet cold morning when somehow you felt the presence of Emmanuel, God with us? O oh, come, O oh, come, Emmanuel and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. This Christmas morning, may we rejoice singing together the songs of our salvation. May we see the places where God is already with us and has prepared a home for us May we sing out because our souls can do nothing less for God has drawn near again. God with us, Emmanuel, Jesus Christ is born today. Sing out. Merry Christmas to all. <laughs>